few weeks back, I was looking for some uh, black lager. And the problem with black lager is that with the exception of a place in Utah and a place in Texas, uh, they really don't produce black lager here in the States uh, year-round. Black lager is a seasonal thing, and it pretty much just comes out in the fall. And the, the two black lagers that I'm familiar with and that I like is Sam Adams black lager and Guinness black lager. So I was at a Binnie's a few weeks back, and I said, listen, you know, dying for a good beer, and my preference is black lager, but it's not in season, yada, yada, yada. So fool that I am, I allowed the sales boy to recommend this uh, Founders Porter. And on the label here, underneath the word Porter, I know you can't read it because the uh, lighting and all that other, other junk, it says dark, rich, and sexy. Now, uh, hang on a second. I'll, I'll read you what it says on the back of the label. Hang on a second. Let me turn this around. And I can barely read it myself. I can't read it through the um, cell phone screen. But trust me, it says, um, Pours silky black with a creamy tan head. And uh, right off the bat, before I even continue, this, this porter has no head. It, it certainly does pour very dark brown, almost black. Uh, but there is no creamy tan head. The head is almost non-existent. Uh, the nose is sweet with strong chocolate and caramel malt presence. Uh, more bullshit. Uh, this thing tastes like communion wine. Uh, no, what is that word? No absence of hops gives founders... Oh, okay, no, no, that's a weird thing to say. No absence of hops gives founders robust porter, the full flavor you deserve and expect. Well, this thing this thing tastes like communion wine. I, I didn't like it. Cozy like velvet. It's a lover, not a fighter. Actually this thing is uh, uh, this is this thing this thing is um comatose as far as I'm concerned. One moment please. Um yeah this thing is um I didn't like this. I mean, I'm sure you can probably tell I did not like this. And uh, I think that from now on, I'm never going to ask a Binnie's employee to recommend me anything because I, I'm. I, it's like in the stock market. You know, they took those, um, I think it was back in the 70s, they took a chimpanzee and gave it like a half a dozen darts and they put all the stock names on the wall and they let the uh, chimpanzee throw the darts at the, um, at the uh, list of all the stocks that were trading. And they found that the uh, chimpanzee's random picks outperformed... Uh, you know, the professionals. And uh, it seems like when it comes to getting a beer recommendation from Binnie's or any place else, actually, even Cardinal Wine and Spirits, uh, you're better off having a, a chimpanzee come in and make a, make a random choice for you. Uh, I, like, I like black lager. It's, called, it's also known as Schwarz beer, or black beer in German. Uh, and again, in the, in the States, it's mostly a seasonal thing. But the bottom line is that this Founders Porter, uh, it sucked. I didn't like it. Uh, but I'm forcing myself to go through one bottle a week. Uh, a, because I bought a six-pack, and B, because, um, um, you know, I'm not going to throw this away. I mean, what the hell. But uh, I am very disappointed. I did not like the taste. Uh, and seriously, when they say, when they have the words dark, rich, and sexy on the front label, and they got some, you know, Victorian-looking broad here, sort of like, you know, giving giving you that look. Uh, that should be the uh, the warning. So uh, so that's my two cents. I tried Founders Porter, and I did not like it. It had no, no head. Uh, it, uh, it did pour dark brown, almost black, uh, but it's got a bitter communion wine-type taste to it. Uh, I find a lot of these crappy beers, they have a wine-like taste to it. I'm not quite sure why that is. But, you know, a really good beer should have some flavor. It should be satisfying. It shouldn't have any kind of an aftertaste. Oh, and by the way, yeah, this thing does have a bit of an aftertaste when it hits the back of your mouth um, and the back of your nose. I, I didn't like that either. But it should have a good aftertaste. And this, this porter failed miserably. Thank you for your time.